welcome to another edition of Hit and Run Fishing. Back out on Chesil, hunting for a bass or a ray, and tonight I'm getting greedy. I've got my two usual rods out there, got another tripod over there, and a third rod ready to go. This one's on a bass rig, which is an up and over running ledger, the double bluey to go in close. It's a 120 pound bite trace just in case an eel takes it. The other two are out on squid. I've got some blacks in a minute. Let's go out on one of them. So yeah, let's see how we go. You never know. It's been rough for a couple of days. Might find a late unicorn, but I doubt it, but we can try. Right, hello and welcome properly. It's Monday night. I'm fishing a flooding tide. I'm in the Masonic section of Chevron. The stones are massive. Massive stones. Um, I fancy coming here. I had to come on Portland yesterday to get some stuff. And, um, drive past and it was like chocolate and I thought that looks really bassy so I tried getting out last night didn't happen so I'm here tonight so let's see what we can do I'm fishing the good old pulley rigs I got a 6.0 pulley rig uh, with a panel panel 6.0 my top hook's fixed on 90 pound snugs just in case the yields one size come along which I'd like tonight I might have a there he is Pair six octopus, not just not on the top one. He's about five foot long, yeah, right. Standard pulley affair, big swivel, couple of beads, and a Gemini solo with a six ounce limb. So, further ado, we should get a bait up on the go. I'm gonna keep glancing up because it is a bit rough. Heads are holding nicely, so we'll see how we do. Okay, I've got a double bluey on the bass rod, which is about 25, 35, maybe give it a bit more a bit of punch than I want to do. Probably about 40 yards out, but it's close enough. Right, as far as the squid goes, it's normal, straight up the middle. It is quite blowy, so I'm just going to stick with a single squid as usual. Then we get the bead needle. Either side. That'll be elastic. Give it a good wind up. Nice little parcel, like I say, split the squid up the middle, flip it in for end. I'll nick the bottom hook in, nick the top hook in. I realise my bait's a bit too short, which it is. It'll be alright. Make it slightly higher up. A bit more elastic, hold the hooks in place. So that way I can strip any excess bait off a lot easier at the end. So I'll just cut up my line. I did the other day, my last video when I caught the dogfish just up the way. I'll give it a go. Off it comes. Lovely little parcel of squared. Right, one bait down. Like I said on the last one, I see no point doing this at home when you defrost all your bait at home. Why? Why do it to yourselves? Good look up. Not a lot doing out there. But, like I said, tide's flooding. It's high tide about... That's high tide. I kind of wrapped a frozen black. Should have unwrapped a bit more earlier on. Somewhere in here it was a black. Good lord. There we go. Good blimey. They haven't been in the freezer in a while. <laughs> Come on. We're not messing around with bait tonight. I'm going to put three of them on. Because they're a bit. Um, definitely been frozen a while. Anyway, right. Give it a little squeeze up. Oh, someone's come down and joined me. Someone's on. Blonde Raymark on further down the beach from the Blonde Raymark. Yeah, but all right. Right, give that a squeeze up to make a luggy sausage. And again, around the baiting tool. Always around the baiting tool. Always, because it makes it so much neater. Especially when you've got a headwind like I've got tonight. Blowing about 20 mile an hour, if not a touch more. 
I'm not putting any squid on this bait because I only want to ideally target in the unicorns, but whether they're there or not is a completely other matter. Right, but that bait is going to go on to Foro Pulley Panel Rig. So it doesn't need the massive hooks on the lug. A pair of Foros, I reckon that's about a £70 line. I should be able to really write it down. But I don't. I am in this, at the point in the year I start changing my rigs over from the winter ones to the summer ones. So I've got a lot more smaller hooks coming out at the minute. My rig time box and the two O's, a few four O's still coming out because I do like a good size bait with a ray. A lot of two O's appearing. And there's some ones as well, which is not like me in the last few years. So we'll be having a go to place in a few weeks' time. Which is I haven't done for quite a few years, in fact. But I keep seeing everyone catching them off on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. I am on Instagram as well. You'll see a little video on there of yesterday's sea conditions. I do a little video if I'm in the area. Put it on there, hit and run fishing, Instagram. All right, and there is a triple black lug in what, a minute and a half. Triple black lug. Look at each end. Have it. Right. Like I said, the bash rod. I'm not going to double pat that because the bait looks massive. That's got a double bluey from Riot Baits. All supplied by Weymouth Angling Centre. So I've got Riot Baits blueys for the bash rod. I've got Sam Squid for the other rods. And Weymouth Angling Centre blacks. I'll well, get better further down. Get getting better. Lovely. Right. I'm going to get these traces hung up. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Well, that scared the crap out of me. Some old boy just walked along the beach from up the cove and just appeared in front of me about 50 yards away. I heard footsteps and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Absolutely shocked it. <laughs> well, I don't think it was a ghost. Might have been home with a German. Who knows? All right, back to the fishing. No fish yet. Second cast. Yeah, keep on going. A rod tip action. One, two, a third one over there. I've had a couple of casts come in. Bait's a little bit crabbied, if anything. Certainly not been rayed or anything like that. There's now four guys behind me at the other mark. The other mark. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna change bait on the left one. I'm gonna change that one. Right, almost. So I'm just gonna quick bait up on my bass rod. I'm gonna double pat it out deciding. So I've got a quick link on the end of the trace because I can change over my hooks and it's a bit easier. So like I said, I've got a short bite length, 120 pound line, a pair of eight toes, silicone tube, and I'm baiting the whole bluey. A two on the first jack, we have a single one this time. I'm treat it like a big sand hill. So basically, cut off between the eyes, cut off just back from the tail to make a nice big bait. Right, let's throw that one up out of the way. Here we go. That's it, that's about right. Right, I'm gonna stick it in, slide it around like a sand hill. And then out the gill case. I like bringing it out through the gill cover because it's a nice solid point for anchoring. The bluey's on right now, being a bit soft. So I've got one out the gill case that side, I've got one out the other side, that side. There's a big bait, but it'll be fine. But as again, as always, even though it's on the hooks, I'm now going to stick baiting needle straight through the middle of it so I can whip it on them hooks even though I'm not going to cast it a long way bait needle up through the middle I use the Tronics Pro Baitex Heavy which I think is pretty thin for this a nice wind up 
back over itself a couple of times. And you cross hatching. Because I'm not going to hit it a long way. I'll use a layback cast with this. Aim for about 30, 40 yards, just so I know the lead's going to grip in. If it was a lot calmer than what it is now, I would literally chuck it behind the fucking wave, uh, the first wave. Excuse the language. But yeah. Pay needle out. Nice, straight, lovely blue bay. Right, onwards. We'll change that one over. That's all we bring in. Right then. That was a double bluey about an hour ago. So, something out there munching, but it's looking a bit crabby to me. Crabby, prawny, not very big. Hey ho, onwards. Wow, well, I thought last time was pretty terrible out, but this time seems to manage to pass it. I've not even had a bite so far, I've been down here about two and a half hours. Not a bite. A couple of crab baits, and that is it. We could be staring at the first blank for the year. We should go and take that one cast. It's chisel, I'm in a good spot. Just wish I had some fresh bait. I'm praying for a power to take the worm. To give me some fresh pout so I can get that out there. Never thought I'd say I'm praying for a pout, but I am. So, on that rod at the back, that's now got a triple squid on it. Big squid bait in close, real close. I actually saw the bait splash down. I've still got the lug on the right and the squid on the left. And then a minute the squid's getting changed to being a section of bluey. So, an attempt to dog out with that. Onwards. Wow, the are living up to the name as usual. The beach have broken everything, apart from a little tiny bull hus. Tiny little hus, I'm pretty sure it's a hus. It's got nasal flaps. Big spots. Beautiful little thing. The bush is about four foot long. No mind. We haven't blanked. Chihuahua size hus. Right, on front of something else chihuahua size. A little friendly fox come down to see me. He scared the crap out of me. Just fed him a bluey. Oh, you got close quick though. That's a next one to your right. There he is. All right then, guys. The last casts are out. I've had enough of one minuscule little dog, whatever it was, dog a hus, dog a hus, I'm pretty sure it was a little hus. Um, yeah, the base is still coming in untouched. So yeah, these are the last three out. That one's on a double squid. One of these on squid, one of these on lug. It's the last lug used about my freezer. So I'll get some fresh in when I go place them. March. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe for more like this, hopefully with more fish than I've had lately. A little fox around me just now. So we'll see a little bit of footage of him. In fact more footage of a fox than you will a fish tonight. But there we go. So far. Who knows what might happen in the next 10 minutes when I wind these to him? Three in. Right. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.